Hi friends, the factorial of a number is the product of all the integers from 1 to that number. Say 5 factorial is 5 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 and multiplied by 1. Similarly, 4 factorial is 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 and 1. We can generalize this and say n factorial is n multiplied by factorial of n minus 1. Now in PHP, we will try to get how to get the factorial of a input number. We are inside our PHP area. Let us first declare a uh, number. So, for this factorial, for this number, we will be, we'll be uh, producing. So, let us start with factorial equal to 1. So, for loop for <coughs> dollar i equal to 1, we will start from 1 and we will end with less than equal to the value of the number. So, this is uh, because the number itself is included that is why we are using the equal to. Say factor factorial of 5 is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, 5 is also there. So, we are including equal to less than or equal to. So, now we will increment it uh, plus plus 5. Now, let us we will move up a bit. Fine. Here we will say factorial equal to let us say factorial multiplied by the dollar i. So, I will take 1, 2, 3, 4 till the number input number what we are uh, used. So, now that is all. So, we will just print it factorial of we will say n 1 the number is now let us say write it here factorial. So, that is all. Let us save this and go here and refresh. Let us see the output. Factorial of 5 is 120. Now, let me just change it to 6. Saved it. Gone here. Factorial of 6 is 720. Now, now we will try that user will input a number and that factorial will be. So, that way we need not go to the code and change it all the time. We will modify this code. N 1 instead of directly taking we will take it as a form output. So, it is a post method we will be using. So, we will say n 1 here. Now, fine. Now, let us go further displaying the form. Echo will say form method equal to post action is same. We will submit to the same page. So, we will not write anything here. We will close this. Sorry. Now, let me go to ok. So, here I will say um, I will give one input type equal to text name equal to n 1. So, this is the name what you are using. It is a sticky form. So, we will uh, hold the value also. So, we will say n 1 and if you want to read uh, or to know more what is a sticky form, how the components work, you can watch our other video. It is there exclusively on how to handle a sticky form in a in PHP. So, fine this is our uh, input type text is we have taken then one more submit button is required because data we have to submit input type equal to submit value equal, value equal, whatever we write we will write submit. So, that is all. So, this should uh, display the form also and we are rest of the things remain same. So, value will receive n 1 value and thing. You, if you want you can put it inside the, this uh, echo command inside a if so you do not want to show a first time when it goes up. Let us see how this looks. So, this is our factorial. Now, let us run this. Okay, Better to give a line break here. We will show it below that. Saved it and let us refresh this fine. So, I will say factorial of 5 let us submit factorial 5 is 120. I will say factorial of 6 it is okay. factorial of 7 whatever input number I give this will be giving me the factorial. Now, we will use a recursive function to get the factorial. In a recursive function we call the function itself. Here you see this the 5 factorial. This 5 factorial is nothing but 5 multiplied by 4 factorial. Similarly, 4 factorial is uh, 4 multiplied by 3 factorial and 3 factorial is 3 multiplied by 2 factorial. In a recursive function, similarly, we will call the function itself to find out the factorial. But in a recursive function, we must stop somewhere. Otherwise, this will become an infinite loop. Here, the stop value will be 1. Once we achieve the 1, then we will go back 
feed the multiplication value similarly we will feed to the 3 and we reach the final value this is how we will be using a recursive function with a stop value we will uh, remove this source code we will write a function now so uh, you can get all this source codes from uh, the link provided in the description and you can post to all your questions also so let's start with the function function i am giving fact you can give any name so it will receive the uh, number so this function will first will work with a stop value so we'll say that not equal to one so all this thing will should be now let me just inside this i will say factory real factorial equal to now n multiplied by fact this fact is nothing but the function by n minus 1 this is what we have discussed now so every factorial is the number multiplied by factorial of 1 minus so that is how this factorial we got it but you see we are calling the same function here now once then we'll say return return the factorial fine but here we'll put a else condition because if it is not one where it should stop we told you no this is where well, as this do this exercise as long as n is not equal to one so once it is n became one return one so this return will return to again this so this this recursive function will stop at the value one so now let's come out print some echo factorial of six let's say factorial of six uh, give it now call the function fact input value six we are giving so let me close this so that's all this is the recursive function we have used so let's go and refresh this uh, line 10 10 watts has gone fact oh sorry this must should have been a variable fine i have saved this came here factorial of 6 is 720 okay now let's make it 8 8 8 we are passing to the function now let's refresh this okay so this is how we'll get the factorial of using a recursive using a sticky form or directly using a input number